water supply. Water as part of the fundamental right to life. Water is essential for life. It is the right of every citizen, whether rich or poor, to have sufficient amounts of safe water to fulfill his or her daily needs at a price that he or she can afford. Both the High Courts and the Supreme Court have held that the right to safe drinking water is a fundamental right and no one can pollute the drinking water resources. Is water available to all? Even in big cities like Chennai, municipal supply meets only about half the needs of the people of the cities on an average. The areas in a city that are close to the storage points get more water, whereas colonies further away receive less water. The burden of shortfalls in water supply falls mostly on the poor. The middle class, when faced with water shortages, are able to cope through a variety of private means, such as digging bore wells, buying water from tankers, and using bottled water for drinking. The role of the government. The government takes the responsibility to supply water at a rate affordable by everyone. To supply water, the government has to incur costs in pumping water, carrying it over long distances, treating the water for impurities, laying down pipes for distribution, and finally collecting and treating waste water. It meets these expenses partly from the various taxes that it collects and partly by charging a price for water. In search of alternatives, due to the increasing population of cities, the consumption of water has increased. Groundwater levels have dropped drastically in all these cities as a result. The government is encouraging people for harvesting rainwater to increase the level of groundwater. Where possible, water from nearby rivers and in some cases from distant rivers is brought and treated for impurities.